That's your jam. Oh, that's jam. All right, Michael. welcome back to GMA. <laughs> well, this morning, we're throwing the cookbook rules out the window. we got a hot new trend. It's called chaos cooking. It's a fun way to take the stress out of the kitchen. That's what the Washington Post said that could actually help your mental health. Food Network star Chef Jeff Morrow is here to show us what it's all about. Jeff, tell us about chaos cooking. Why is this oh. supposed to be beneficial for people? Well, me, Walito, we've all done it, right? We look in the fridge. You're like, I don't have anything that goes together. Yes. But now you do because you were, we're about to embrace chaos cooking, which is combining ingredients you wouldn't think would go together. It's a way of just having fun, discovering new flavors oh. and combinations, okay. starting with this. You know what I'm bubbling right here? Well, we're going to get to it this because brick. I'm not going to, we're not, we're going to, you know, our, our viewers, we got the viewers oh. who literally have told us what they want you to chaos cook. Oh my, now so, I'm seeing, now it's super chaos. So I just thought I was doing it. my own thing, but now, okay, no, watch challenge this one. me. This is I'm Jim. Ready. Let's Give see what me, Jim, Jim wants for you. Give it to me, Jim. Hey. What you got, Jim? Yeah. All right, Jim has chicken wings and caramel sauce, and that's what we got bubbling right here, caramel sauce. You right? know what's in caramel sauce? No. Just sugar, a little water, you let it go, you don't stir it till it's about this beautiful okay. mahogany color. Now what are we gonna add to this? First of all, I got some really crispy oven fried chicken wings oh, we did. Okay. Super yep. easy, you toss them in baking soda, you do a two-step cooking process. In the oven, no deep fryer necessary. Now, guess what, another chaos combination. Fish sauce, Michael, in my caramel. Oh, just okay. like Nona used to do. Now, now feel that, feel Ooh, that. I smell that. Oh, you smell that funky fermented fish Ooh, sauce? Yeah. Holy smokes, it is ripe in here. Some spice in there and a little okay. fresh ginger, How crushed much? red chili. Now every chicken wings needs some butter. Yep. With it, right? Talbot glisten, a couple pats of butter. Now watch this. We're gonna mix it together, make it nice and shiny, and you have this caramel sauce. This is based oh, on man. a very traditional Vietnamese recipe it's called to smell caramel. Good now that fish sauce threw me off at first. It's come together though. But you'll see once you coat it on those beautiful wings. You do the old wing wing toss in the bowl. Make okay. sure everyone's coated and serve them immediately. Right, who doesn't love sweet barbecue sauce with crispy chicken, honey and fried chicken, all these combinations, totally normal. And now since we chaos cooked, you got this in your repertoire. I would never think that caramel that sauce beautiful. and chicken wings would go yeah. together. Okay, thank you to Jim for that. All right, we're not done yet. Cassie, Cassie's up next. Let's yes. see what her combo is. Cassie's combo is mango and popcorn. What, what you got? Hey, oh, zero like, stress. Zero like stress up it. here in my brains. Cassie, we're going to take some nice shrimp, right? You get the small ones. Okay. This is some popcorn shrimp, okay, with mango. Okay, so we're going to do a dredging station. Flour, egg, breadcrumb. Oh, not just breadcrumb, pulverized, buttered, salted popcorn, right? Have you watched The Last of Us there, that show about the zombies? That's what they kind of look like. But it's going right in the fryer, and it's going to bubble. It's going to get golden brown, and uh -huh. what we're left with are these beautiful popcorn shrimp with actual popcorn in it, Michael. And then we're going to make that mango sauce. You can use store-bought mango puree, but we can get a little fresh mango. We're going to add a little apple cider vinegar, okay. sweet little sour acid. You got some sh uh, sugar, if you want. Throw How a little much? bit in there. How much? Just a little bit to taste. There you go. Wow, see, look at you. No stress. You know, no stress. I feel less stressed. That you know what you look like? You walked on a set and you, were, you looked tense. I was really you were, tense. You were like doing this. And look at you now. Now I'm trying to stay awake. I'm so. Can you say thank you, Jeff? Right? <laughs> thank you, Jeff. You're thank welcome. You, Jeff. Finally. Chef. That's there right. you go. Now you toss that with this, and this you got this beautiful, crispy popcorn shrimp. Last but not least, this, this is, is your combo. Dude, this is insane. This is something right, I've been this is your combo. eating was since that? I was a kid in lunch school. Really? Okay, what goes on a peanut butter and jelly? Mm. Peanut butter, you guessed a second. Jelly? This guy's got it. <laughs> this guy. I was like, what a blessing. Hey, now, student. When I was a husky child back in grammar school, yeah, right? I was, I was big bone too. Yeah, I was big bone. You know how it was. All I wanted was those barbecue. My mom got me like, you know, diet bread, diet peanut butter, diet jelly, but I always got to trade for these barbecue, barbecue chips. chips. And when I finally got those chips, guess where they went? Right on the sandwich. Michael, barbecue chips with peanut butter, with jelly. What are you thinking right now in your brain? Is that this chaotic? Might, that might actually work. <laughs> it might work because that savory, that salty, that texture from the crunch, and then you do the old the half bias here, and you, you wrap this up for your kids, and then they get to their lunch. Do me a favor, though. Don't be that parent 
that puts the apple on top of the peanut butter and jelly sandwich when you put it in the brown bag and then you pull it out and you got that big jelly divot in there yeah. and all the kids are looking at you and they're making fun of you and they don't say, we don't like okay. you, Jeff. We're it's not okay. going to the dance with it's you. Okay, Jeff. You're, you're husky. You're, you're better now. You're better now. Look at that. You're, you're relaxed. Thank the you, chaos Michael. cookie's working, baby. I'm feeling I great. I feel more relaxed. And you know what? At home, try this chaos cookie. I think it's really cool and interesting. Plus, it'll save you on groceries because you're not throwing stuff out. You're actually exactly. using it. And you can catch Jeff on The Kitchen, which is on the Food Network, tomorrow. And you can scan the QR code on your screen for all of these recipes on GoodMorningAmerica.com. Jeff, thanks for being here. Thank you for being Hey, happy birthday to my wife, Sarah. And congratulations, Lorenzo, for getting into San Ignatius School yesterday. Oh, Congratulations cool, and happy birthday. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.